Hi. Now in the first part of this question we've got to differentiate x squared cos 3x with respect to x and to do this make sure you define this by a variable say y so uh, it can be any variable you like but uh, I'm going to go for y so I'm going to just say let y then equal x squared cos 3x if you don't say something like this you cannot write dy by dx because you didn't define it so always start by introducing let y equal x squared cos 3x okay so how are we going to differentiate this well what we've essentially got is a product of two functions of x and so we're going to need to use the product rule for differentiation if you're not familiar with the product rule just quickly let's just show you over here the product rule you can always uh, find this on my website uh, if you're unsure uh, if you've got y equals two functions of x, let's call them u and v, then dy by dx equals, it can be shown anyway that dy by dx equals u times dv by dx plus v times du dx. In other words, all you need to do is take one of the functions of x, multiply it by the differential of the other, and then just plus and then do it the opposite way around. Okay? So let's just see what we can do for this. The x squared I'm going to take as u and the cos 3x I'm going to take as v. There you go, u, v. So if we're going to find dy by dx, I'd write therefore dy by dx equals u. So that's going to be x squared. I'd encourage you to put this in brackets. Okay, so we've got one part times the differential of the other part. So the differential of cos 3x, we have to use the chain rule for this or you might know the result. And if you're unsure of how to differentiate this, I'll do this at the end, okay, for you. But uh, on the assumption that you are okay with the chain rule, this becomes cos of t, say, so the differential of cos t is going to be minus sine t, so that would be minus sine of 3x. And then we multiply that by the differential of what we call t. And t was 3x, so differentiate 3x, you get 3. As I say, I'll explain that at the end um, if you're unsure. Then we have plus. Now we've got to do v du dx. So we take the other function of x, cos 3x, put that in brackets, and multiply it by the differential of x squared which is 2x. So all we need to do now is clean up each of these two terms. Now I notice that we've got a negative term here and a positive term here. So I'm going to write this term first and it would look a lot better if I wrote the 2x before the cos 3x. So we can just write equals 2x cos 3x and then this is a negative term so we've got minus here 3 so we've got minus 3 and then we've got the x squared and then we've got sine 3x so 2x cos 3x minus 3x squared sine 3x is our answer okay I did say I would explain to you if you've got problems differentiating the cos 3x we do it by the chain rule I'll show you how we do that let's just do it in red over here if you had say y equals cos 3x we use the chain rule here we just say that dy by dx is going to be dy by dt times dt by dx okay if you've got problems with the chain rule just go on my website look under the chain rule and you should see some tutorials on this now we can write this then as y equals cos of 3, sorry, cos t I should say, where t is essentially the 3x. So when it comes to dy by dt for dy by dx, we just put that in there, dy by dx equals dy by dt. Well, if you differentiate cosine t with respect to t, you get minus sine t. So that would be minus sine, but
but t is 3x, so we can just put that in. And now we have to multiply it by dt by dx. And t was 3x, so you just multiply that by differential 3x, which is 3. So that's how I got my minus sine 3x times 3 up here. OK, so I hope that gives you some idea. Right, well that brings us to the end then of the first part of this question.